Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing a very simple way to smoothen skin in Photoshop. This is something that a lot of people have asked about because, I mean, it's not really reliable to go around with the um, copy and paste tool and just take a good bit of skin and copy it over. I'm going to actually show you how to literally smoothen the skin and the result is pretty incredible and it's also very easy to do. So now I'm just going to open up an image and so you can see the skin is not very smooth. It's got blemishes and stuff. Now the first thing before I smoothen the skin is I'm going to get rid of the blemishes. That is going to help a little bit with making the skin work look good when it's smooth. So double click on your background layer and open it up. You're going to copy it up and name it blemish. You can copy it up by pressing control J. Right. So what I'm going to do is in the second layer I'm going to start getting rid of little tiny blemishes and stuff like that. So you can zoom in, control plus or minus or control space and selecting an area. And I'm going to use a variety of little tools. I'm going to go to the healing brush tool and first I'm going to be getting rid of these. So alt click and you can start getting rid of blemishes. I would recommend since lighting runs by gradient and shadows run in a vertical line, if you're going to take something from right next to where it is, take it from right above or right below it. Like so. Instead of from the left or right of it. Like that. You can get rid of that, get rid of that that and that can make that a little more even can smoothen that away a little bit now as you use your healing brush tool here make sure that your brush size is set to about 20 and your hardness is set to zero that will make it softer and easier to do I'm going to come over to the clone stamp tool over this. Sometimes you'll get areas that are a little bit harder to change because that color, the, the software doesn't recognize it as a change. So I'm just going to try to make this look a little bit more natural by using the skin tones around it. But you can see I've gotten rid of that mark there. that looks good um this little area right here I can use the healing brush tool can run over that a little bit so that it's uneven and run over this just a little bit also right here get rid of this line a little bit more and get rid of that and that's looking pretty good I think look at it before and after alright I just see one thing and it's that that looks too linear so I'm gonna take the mark right there and just go over it and give it a little bit more and then that there that looks better Alright, on to the actual skin smoothing. You're going to create a new layer, and we're going to call this Smoothen. Oops. You double click on the text. Now what I'm going to do, oops, I made another one, is I'm going to take these two layers, combine them, and put them here without getting rid of these two layers. And you do that by contr pressing Control alt shift E. That merges all visible layers. So what happens is now I can get rid of this blemish layer, nothing happens. I can get rid of this and nothing happens. If I get rid of both, then you can see the bottom layer. Now to smoothen the skin, 
we're going to come up to filter noise median and we're going to set the radius to 10 pixels okay well that doesn't look very good does it you're going to lower the opacity to anywhere between 50 and 60 percent now it doesn't look right and there's a reason for that the skin is very smooth it looks very nice actually but certain things we've just smoothened out the whole picture and we don't want to do that we want certain parts of it to remain sharp so what we're going to do is let through the layer below it we're going to click on the smooth layer and make a adjustment layer or layer mask and it's going to be right down here make sure it's selected and make sure your default color is black then just switch to your paintbrush now what a layer mask does is anything in black it just hides it so that you can see through to the layer below now I'm going to show you take a look closely up here at the hat when I do this it suddenly becomes more clear now to make this easier to see I'm going to press the backslash and now everything I draw is going to come up in red and you can change the color of that in settings and stuff but this is this has nothing to do with what it's doing see it's making it clear but that just helps you see it now what you're gonna do is get rid of everything that's not skin basically now I'm doing this quickly you're gonna wanna be careful switch brush sizes often and everything over here when you're going right here next to the skin you don't have to be overly careful you want the line between skin and air behind it to be a pretty sharp line so you can afford to go over just a little bit it still comes out good I'm gonna come over here and go up this way that was kind of messy and get this hair now it's still not going to look right because there's parts of the face that have to be fixed too. I'm going to lower the diameter a little bit in case you don't know that's just left clicking. And I'm going to mask the lips because lips don't aren't skin. You want them to remain sharp. You also want the eyes to remain sharp. So I'm going to go over those. Alright, you also just want the base of the nostrils and maybe just a little bit right here where you want these lines to kind of remain a little bit sharper and eyebrows you can make those sharp too so now when I click you can see that it's created this layer mask over here that's what we what we just draw looks like and this picture looks a whole lot better now so just by looking you can see that the picture this didn't really get removed I forgot to remove that but the overall the skin tone looks very very smooth if I get rid of this layer you can see that there's a big difference the pores and the freckles on the skin and then now it's just totally smooth so that's pretty much how they do it as far as making skin look overly smooth without I mean the tone all over the place is still the same but now you have smooth skin